All right, guys, so everybody knows what these look like. Some old dingy cabinets from the mixing room. So we're gonna go ahead and do something cool on these today and do a little bit of something different than we're used to doing, guys. So it's close to the holidays and I wanna do a little custom for you guys to show you something cool that you guys might wanna do on a vehicle or anything you got. So stay tuned to this one. This is gonna be a good one, guys. So first thing I gotta do is get off all these uh, fingerprints and all this stuff through the years on this cabinet. Get all this tape off of here. It looks like, you know how us painters like to write stuff down and uh, keep it here so we have it, but then we never remember what it was. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned off and then we'll get into making these things look really good, guys. guys they're all prepped out and they had a, quite a few years of people's handprints all over them with paint so they're not perfect they got a couple dents in them from people slamming them but uh let's get them in there and let's uh begin this video guys all right guys first thing we're doing is cleaning them off and I'm just wiping them down with some waterborne uh, cleaner just to get off any dust, so. All right, guys, we got it all sealed and I masked off the center because I don't want to get that uh, wood grain down in the channel where the handles are. I want to make that black later. So this is a solvent sealer and you guys can see that this isn't perfect. The uh, panels are a little beat up, but it'll come out really nice. So, so we're using the water base and this is the toners I got 9161. 9175, 9160, 9003, and 9122. So I'm gonna first put down a um, little bit of tan from the, from the can. This here E-coat tan, because I don't have any solvent here in a tan. So you have to make sure you put solvent down first and then use the water base on top. Don't try to get a tan color with the water because you'll screw it up. So we're gonna go ahead and mist on this tan and uh, then we'll go from there with the rest of it. So we got the uh, tan on there and it doesn't have to be perfectly covered because that's just the ground coat. So on this particular wood grain that I'm going for, I want to have a lighter uh, wood grain so that way you guys can really see it on camera. And I'll show you another one I did, you know, a couple years back that's a darker wood grain. But we're going to go ahead and start it up, guys. So make sure you got gloves on for this because this is a messy one. So you do is you just take your paint you just drop, you put little drops here and there of it. This is the way I do it, guys. So. Now I got the yellow one. Now we'll go with a little bit of black. And this really works well with the water base because the water base is uh, flattens out nice. So you wanna make sure you thin it down pretty good when you do this. And uh, so it'll, it'll leave less lines when you go to clear it. So let's go ahead and start trying it out now and see what we got. 
So I like a scotch bright first. Now you gotta do this to get your desired look. So this is just a trial run here as we start and you guys will see what I mean as I start to get it dialed in with the way I want it to look. So I'm going for a um, tighter wood grain. And I can see already I'm gonna have to add some black into this, so. But we're gonna go for this look. And you guys will be amazed at the end what it looks like. So just go ahead and get it mixed in. Start running it along. And uh, you just wanna get it nice and even in the beginning and, and smooth out. So, so I can see I'm gonna need some darker colors right now. give it the look I'm going for here so let me get some more of the darker just put the black around just wipe it in so you get your shade you're looking for once you get your shade that's when you can start fine-tuning how you want the wood to look guys so Hang tight here a minute. I'm gonna start getting it uh, to where it's starting to come around to look like wood. So right now I'm just trying to even out the uh, color. All right guys, so we're getting somewhere now. Alright guys, see how that laid down now, that water base? So this is the step one of this. And now I'm going to do a little bit of highlights to it to really bring it out to make it look like wood. So I mixed up some black and I mixed up like a mid coat now to put over the top of this. So I'm going to go ahead and tack it and then we're going to uh, start doing that. So this will bring it out even more and make it look more realistic. So. Stay tuned as I put this stuff on. So now I mixed up some mid coat like you would put on a regular candy red.
That's the final product with two coats of clear on top of it. And it came out really nice. So that's how I do my wood grain. So hopefully this will help some of you guys out out there that want to do a wood grain finish on something. That's how I do it. All right, so I hope you guys like this video, guys. I wanted to do something different than everyday, you know, OE stuff. So I hope you guys like the, can uh, the custom wood grain and try it out on something. It really comes out nice. So thanks for watching and see you next time.